God always wanted heaven and earth together. At the start, he wants heaven and earth together now. That's always been the plan. Heaven and earth together in Eden, okay? And then we took on the nature, we came under the covering, under the word of another being that says, does God really say? Did he really say? Yep. Another word came into us, and now, guess what's in our nature? Right to this very day. Do you believe what God said? <laughs> Did God really say he's going to look after me? Did God really say he's going to heal me? Did God really say? Okay. That nature got into us. Okay. And we had to get out of Eden so we didn't take from the tree of life and live forever in that state. And we're out, and angels, and a flaming sword gets put there. A, a sword of fire. When we go back through that sword, the frequency of that flame, if you're the same frequency, you can go through. Guess what? Your spirit's of that same frequency. Your spirit going in and out of heaven all the time. As your soul's changing, more of your soul goes through and you see more of that stuff. When your body changes, you'll be in and out like Enoch. Okay? And uh, the book of Enoch is not in Scripture, so we're not going to talk about it. Until tomorrow. <laughs> so Eden, heaven and earth together. Okay? We messed it up. But God, and then Genesis 1 to 11 happens. We'll talk about that in a minute. Genesis 1 to 11 happens. Okay? Lots of naughty falls. And God says, I want it back. I want you back. Okay? And so he makes a covenant with this guy. He chooses someone under another God, Abraham. It says, come out of that land. We'll see why he had to leave land. Because God's attached himself to land all the time. So does our God. He attaches himself to land. Who's that? You. You're that land. This is the soil. This is his land. Okay? And wherever your foot will tread, it's a, it's a, it's a kingdom coming in, taking over, over another kingdom. So God makes a box. And God goes in the box. Yep. Yep. God's in the box. That box, the Ark of the Covenant, is heaven and earth together. Yep. The priest could go in and out. We know, we know the story. Okay. And so then the temple becomes that. Okay. The temple loses its glory. Ichabod, the glory is gone. But God wants heaven and earth together on earth. He wants it together. So heaven and earth comes together in another Ark. Mary. Okay. The womb of Mary which is the ark. Think about it. Okay? Same shape. So in Mary, heaven and earth are together. And Jesus is born, and he is heaven and earth together. He's God and man together. Okay? Then he says, it's better that I go. And we're thinking, no, it's not. It's better that you stay. Because <laughs> I could walk up and touch, taste, feel you, put my hands on you, and you can heal me. And God's saying, no. I want you to love me for who I am. Word. It's better that I go if you believe word. Because word will change this. Taste, touch, see will not change this. Word will change this. Okay? And then he sends his Holy Spirit which lives in you. And now you are heaven and earth together. And what, as much as you become heaven and earth together, you can give it away. Make this heaven and earth together. And that's what the sons of God, that's what their plan is. Because that's the nature of our Father. You've not told that's the nature of your father. You won't do it. Hence, it's been hidden from the gospel. Okay, we won't make this heaven and earth together. And when this becomes heaven and earth together, it's bad news for some spiritual beings. Okay, they don't want that. So they're trying to keep heaven and earth apart, which is what we call religion. Yeah. Religion is to express the nature of your father, Satan. All religion. Separation. The nature of the Son is I and my Father are one. He loves me. The world must see I love the Father. The Father loves me and I do what I see the Father doing. That's the nature of a Son. Okay? When I wake up this morning, I did not feel that. <laughs> I felt religion. But I know what it is. I know how to fix it up. You hear a word. Can we pull up uh, Colossians 1, uh, 19 to 20? So Jesus became one with us. If any man be in Christ, he's one spirit with the Lord. You and Christ are one. It's no longer you that live, it's Christ that lives in you. You're one being. Okay, What you do, he does. 
Okay, Paul goes as far to say, if you join yourself with a prostitute, you've joined Christ with a prostitute. He's getting your attention. You and Christ are one being now. Okay, you need to treat yourself that special. So this is Colossians. We saw that God started heaven and earth together. Okay, for, an, for in him all the fullness of the Godhead was pleased to dwell, same as you. In you, the fullness of the Godhead is pleased to dwell. Yep. And through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. He's reconciling all things, heaven and earth together. That's the plan from the start. It's the plan now. <laughs>